live on Tiki Oasis TV, joined by the incredible, the amazing, the iconic Shag. Hey. It is my absolute honor to get oh, to be you. interviewing it's you great today. Great to be here. I am a huge fan of your art, and I'm just like a lot of people. I wonder how did you get started making art? Well, I've always drawn and painted, and I worked for about 10 years in the record industry in LA as a graphic designer and commercial artist. And I was also interested in Tiki, and one of my Tiki friends, Otto von Stroheim. I think I know him. Who, with his wife Baby Doe, are the founders of Tiki Oasis. He was always bugging me to do an art show, and I said, I'm not that kind of artist. And finally one day he said, I booked you an art show. It was at a little coffee house in Santa Monica. So I had to make some paintings, and those were the very first shag paintings. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. But being at Miss Tiki Oasis, the first one, people are always asking, well, Tiki, what is that all about? And I can't talk about this culture, this lifestyle, this movement without bringing you up. So you're <laughs> always in my speech about, well, have you ever heard of the artist Shag? And then when I explain, they go, oh yeah. So I'm out there spreading the gospel of how awesome well, you I've, are. I've been collecting Tiki since the early 80s. So even before I knew, I, I had two friends and there was me, and we thought we were the only three people on earth who liked that stuff. <laughs> and then, late 80s, started meeting other people, met Otto, met Sven, uh, realized, hey, there is actually a few more people into this, and, and it's actually maybe a movement. And then, of course, through the years, here we are at Tiki Oasis with, you know, over 3,000 people coming to celebrate Tiki. It's amazing. I, lo I absolutely love it. And your art is just so wonderful, so cheerful, and I just love seeing it. Thanks. I heard you actually made a special print that you're debuting and yeah. signing here. Is that I right? did a special print to release here at Tiki Oasis at a very special low price for Tiki Oasis guests only. And uh, it's called Waiting for Auto, appropriately enough. <laughs> awesome. Well, where do you see the tiki art and culture movement going? I mean, we're in 2016. Do, or, do you have any ideas about where things are going in the future? Well, I think it, you know, it's slow and steady. More yeah. people get into it. Um, it's not gonna be something that's gonna, you know, take over the entire world. But I think it's gonna be something that's here for a long, long time because what, what draws people to it you know, the escapism. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same thing that people were drawn to it in the 50s and 60s, you know? You get away from your day-to-day -day life, your day job or whatever, you put on your uh, Aloha shirt or your grass skirt, you know, you go out, you have some tropical drinks and you kind of pretend that you're, you're, you're the primitive you, you know? You've reached into the savage you that relates to things like carved wooden idols yeah. and, and being in a, a Polynesian paradise. And I think that's that's what everybody here loves about it. Speaking of those tropical cocktails, do you have a favorite brew? My favorite tropical drink is a Singapore Sling, Ooh, which it. uses gin instead of rum, actually, and it's not as sweet as most drinks. It's tart. Don't let the rum people hear you I know. say that. <laughs> I love my rum too. Don't 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 oh. don't get me wrong. Rum is delicious. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today on TV you, Oasis Tana. Television. It is an absolute honor to get to meet you it's and talk great. with you today. Thank you. Happy Tiki. Cheers.